Nursery rhymes were a rich source of story material for our silly symphonies. The first book of nursery rhymes, published more than 200 years ago, was called Tommy Thumb's Pretty Songbook. It contained 39 rhymes, and as you can see, it was quite small. It was probably the first known example of the pocket-sized books that are so popular today. Many of its rhymes are still widely used by children today. We all know this one. Who killed Cock Robin? I, said the sparrow, with my bow and arrow. I killed Cock Robin. This seemingly nonsensical rhyme was depicted in these old woodcuts carved many years ago. Who wrote Cock Robin is a greater mystery than who killed him. But the verses related to similar themes used by the Roman poet Catullus 2,000 years ago and by John Shelton, the great English satirist, 1,500 years later. Actually, Cock Robin was believed to be a satirical comment on the political skullduggery that brought about the downfall of Sir Robert Walpole. Sir Robert was only 24 when he first distinguished himself in the House of Commons. In 1712, Sir Robert was falsely accused of corruption and sentenced to the Tower of London, an imprisonment so obviously unjust that it won him national sympathy. On his release a year later, Sir Robert returned to Parliament and was hailed with wild enthusiasm. In 1721, he was appointed Prime Minister, the first man to occupy historic number 10 Downing Street. But after many peaceful and prosperous years, Sir Robert's ministry began to meet opposition from political enemies who used ridicule as their weapon against him. Wherever he went, he was greeted with shouts of, down with Robinocracy, down with Robin, down with Cock Robin. Finally, Sir Robert was forced to resign, a beaten and lonely man. Thus, after 21 years, a brilliant prime minister's career came to an end. In those days, who killed Cock Robin had timely significance. Today, it is all but forgotten but the rhyme itself has lived on. Down through the years, many parodies have been written. In the famous humor magazine Punch in 1843, there was Who Will Teach the Prince? A satire on a controversy raging in the press about the education of the Prince of Wales. Then there was Who Killed Gladstone? Who Killed Home Rule? And many others. Today, Cock Robin lives on as a bit of nursery nonsense. When we made it into a silly symphony in 1934, it was voted one of the best 10 pictures of the year. In it, we satirized prominent personalities of the day. Perhaps you'll recognize some of them. <laughs>